What is up, my Dudorinos? The name is Kruggles, and today we're talking about... We're doing Destiny 2. Um, I'm sorry if my voice is really loud. Um, so anyways, we're doing the second version of Broken Courier, like... Of the second loop in the Dreaming City or whatever. Because I figured, why not? I wanted to see the differences, and also I wanted to kill the Adenom, and... The Adenom, if anybody remembers that douchebag... And captures death on screen. We're also doing the Ascendant Challenge after I do the mission. Um, I'll actually, I already did this stuff, to be honest, uh, when I was in Florida. So I'm recording a voiceover, so y you're not going to hear much angry reactions or whatever. Or you're not going to hear many angry reactions, what I should say. Um, anyway. Because, like, I had, I kept having internet issues because it's, like, I was in Florida, like I said, with my parents doing stuff. This is just what I was doing while they were out doing whatever. Actually, my mom was out doing whatever. My dad was just there doing stuff on his computer for his job and figured, hey, why not hook up to the internet, play your game for a bit? I was like, okay, might as well record the stuff that I had been wanting to record before we left. And yeah. <laughs> so anyways. <clears throat> um, hmm. What else did I want to men mention or talk about? Oh. Some good news, by the way. Black Armory content, it shouldn't take too long to get it all up. Or actually, I don't know if I'll get it all up, but I think I'm going to get a lot of it up before... Um... Stealing relics. Sorry, turning the words out. Last time I think I'm gonna get a lot of it up before I'm sorry. Um, I go back to classes. Like to because the only thing I'm not gonna be able to get up before classes start is the draw, because that literally starts the Tuesday classes begin. The knowledge they contain is also, I don't know if you're paying attention to her lines, but she's actually. Uh, yeah, I'll go in. Our culture, the last evidence of the awoken. Even if your relics were just rocks, it wouldn't matter. Guardians help people in need. Okay, anyways, the lines are different this time because we're on the second loop. Everybody remembers it, and but for some reason, everybody remembers the, everything from before. And we know what we're supposed to do, but we don't. But for some reason, we can't do things differently. We're stuck in a loop. I don't know why, I don't know how, like, our characters are supposed to, how, like, the area itself is in a time loop, but whatever, that doesn't matter. Um, well, actually, I know, how, I know who is doing it, I don't know how they're doing it, is what I should say. Like, I don't know the science behind it, is what I mean to say, sorry. <laughs> I'm not a fucking physicist, okay? <laughs> I'm a fucking English major. I can understand science, but I'm not... I, I can understand science well enough, is what I should say. Oh, shoot, is I... Okay, I thought my footage was freezing up, or the game was freezing up while I was... Um, which would've sucked, because... Yeah. Anyway. But Black Armory content, um, I should be able to get a lot of it done before, um, I go back to classes, because I found out that I actually go back to classes much later than I thought. Hell, I might even have time, like, if people wanted me to, if, like... Maybe like to stream Destiny 1 rates. <laughs> but I know one thing I actually definitely want to do is take some time to play Resident Evil 1, um, 1 again, the J Jill's playthrough this time. So if people are okay with that, well, actually, that's something I've got to do in general, like whether or not people are okay with it. No offense. <laughs> it, it's just something that I really, really want to like finish up. If I don't finish up. 
the game that... Well, actually, I did finish up Chris's playthrough, so I guess my, like... Just, like... My t desire to, like, finish what I start... Is gonna... Is still... Is satisfied, like... But, like... My completionist tendencies aren't. Happening as it did, but that doesn't mean you'll win again. Or my completionist well, tendencies we relating to the channel. Do everything exactly as we did last so I mean, time, yeah, I'm gonna do Jill's playthrough at some point. I'm probably probably after I put up a good enough amount of the Black Armory content, where I'm where I'm like satisfied for a while. Um, hmm. Yeah, I remember doing this mission for the second time. I It was so easy, like, because doing it the first time, I was, like, fucking, like, breathing really hard and stuff. Like, a bit, um, having, raging a bit, having, uh, just, like, hating that I wasn't hating my low power level so much uh, and now I'm still low which is actually gonna suck for because I still haven't done the first forge and I'm only 619 because I haven't been able to play much in general so yeah that's gonna be that's one of the reasons for the holdback the other reason for the holdback by the way another episode video that I have that's gonna come out um is the malfeasance quest specifically the strike that they have you do although the funny thing is it's more of a special mission than a strike because it like it starts off like well not starts off but it's okay it's the corrupted strike for like the first half or so maybe more than a half but then like at the end the final fight it's not the same as the corrupted strike you're actually killing something you're actually fighting something else and you're in another area in general so you, you know it's it's interesting it's actually what i would like to see out of exotic quests rather than like making us do the same mission over again giving us a new mission like putting some more lore behind it to like give to put it in other words and like I, hell that's what that, I remember that was my issue with uh, Destin, like the first two expansions they are strikes especially because like the exotic quest for Warmind had us do the same strikes again and there were points when like literally they could have made a strike if they wanted to and they like that was it was just like pure laziness I'm never gonna stop like raging, like a feeling rage at Bungie for that. <laughs> I want my strikes, damn it! But yeah, anyways. Now the one thing I am find a little weird is that Black Armory so far, as far as I can tell, has no strikes. Usually, um, every expansion like has a strike. Maybe not like the event ones, like um. Which, I mean, I'm okay with it a little bit, maybe, this time, because at least we're not being, it's not advertised, because that's my main issue, is when you advertise it, at when you advertise strikes as being in it, but not actually being there, but then they're not actually there, that is what, what I hate. Like, because it, it just felt, it was just... No, Bungie. That's all I had to say. Just never do that again. Never take story missions and make them into strikes. I don't mind fight fighting the same boss if I'm given context. Or if there's changes in the boss's mechanics. But, like with Thick Rule. The, um, Scorn Strike, I can't remember the name of. That strike did not give me issues. I was okay with that one. Um, 
But no, I feel I kind of wish we got a, would get a free update with some strikes, like with um updated Mercury and Mars strikes, because I really do hate what they did with those strikes. Like, oh, and there's the connection issue. Yay. And then we end up just skipping the boss fight, because honestly, there's no point. <laughs> and like, yeah, I had to, thankfully, actually, I was really happy. I remember doing this for the first, during this last week, because, like, I didn't have to do it all over again. I only had to do up from a certain point because they actually saved my checkpoint. I actually had forgotten they do that for story missions. Um, <laughs> there. Oh yeah, one thing I'm really hoping to do is because I'm going to try to see the queen again. So I'm really hoping that she's actually going to be there this week. And maybe that, like, it's going to cycle back to what she said during the first time she was there or something like that. Because I actually want to see her. Like, that that's what I like. I, that That's what I was hoping to do when I went there for the first... When I went to her area for... Don't get me wrong, I'm glad. That she, um... that for, To see that cutscene. Aldrin, I feel like, does he, he deserves punishment, but he did also deserves redemption for his punishment. And yeah, by the way, fuck that douchebag, we're about to kill him. Fuck him. I hope he dies. Oh wait, why am I saying I hope he dies? We did kill him. Okay, and then I just have to fight him, find him during the week three mission, which I don't know where he is in that one. And I don't even know if he's actually there. I'm going to look it up later when I actually go to do the mission on Tuesday. Um, let's see what else is next. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, and, uh, yeah, something else I want to talk about. Why does it seem like now, it used to be, I remember like, Hive that were like named like will of this enemy or might of this enemy. They used to be like just hive and then they moved it on to taken. I mean, don't get me wrong, it makes it kind of makes more sense for the taken to be named might of whatever because they're literally extensions of the will. But I don't see why like it's canon or. I don't know. Although technically, if you think about it, it's kind of ironic, or not ironic, um, what's the word when it's, like, something that's unnecessarily... Oh, redundant. It's redundant to be named Will of Zivu Wrath, because if the Taken belong, if that Taken belongs to Zivu Wrath, then it is already the Will of Zivu Wrath. It doesn't need to be anything else to be the Will of Zivu Wrath, so it's kind of redundant for it to be Taken. Then again, I guess the Taken, because they can belong to other enemies. And also because some Taken enemies aren't fully Taken or whatever. Like Riven, for example, she wasn't fully Taken. Only partially. Just enough for, like, the Hive to control her. To, like, only enough for, like, the Hive to actually, like... have her on their side not for them to like control her will and like it's not even like they left her with a little bit of will because like for example oric oryx left curia lift a little bit of his own will just so just for savathun to see what savathun could do with curia as a gift um and then eventually what ended up happening was, um, but, you know, but Riven literally 
he Oryx literally couldn't fully take Riven just because Riven was that powerful. I think something I actually read was that actually the two were laughing at the situation. Oryx and Riven were laughing at the situation when Oryx did invade the Dreaming City. Because it was like, because we couldn't fully take her. And he, it just, uh, you know, how do I word it? It was just funny to him. And then, but when Oryx died, Savathun came along and um, Riven joined Savathun. Honestly, Destiny has lore gets so complicated and interesting, and I fucking love it. I hope Bungie, like, I just can't wait to see what Bungie keep, like, what else Bungie has to do with the Hive. Also, I can't wait to see. I just one thing I the one thing I am worried about, I would say, is um. What happens after we kill Savathun and Zebu Wrath? Are they going to be the last of them? The last of the Hive? I mean, obviously, there actually there are other Worm Gods, so we're probably going to have to fight them. For, like, not first, but, like, you know, eventually. And I think, like, the Worm Gods, they're literally, like, second to the Darkness in their Pantheon. So after the Worm Gods, then we literally, like, we're good. We'd have to fight the Darkness. I feel like after the Worm Gods are taken out and the Hive Gods... All that would really be left to fight is like all the rest of the Taken, and I feel like maybe they just have be the representation of the darkness or whatever. If like they decided to do that in Destiny 4 as like a final raid. Their capabilities. I don't know whether the Hive were trying to withhold that information from us. Or trying to use it or actually, the final raid would probably be something where it's fighting the light. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if it was that. Considering everything. Also, we're about to. I just see. We're, I see we're about to go to the ascendant realm clip. We're gonna start in the ascendant realm for the clip, but don't worry. You're still gonna see. We're still. You'll still see like where it, where this, um, ascendant challenge is. In case you happen to not know where it is. And by the way, I, there's it's going to be multiple attempts. That's the reason it's 10 minutes left on the video. Because, actually, I don't know if lag is the issue at all during this clip. But I know that um, I kept having is random issues with the jump. Y you'll see what I mean maybe in a minute. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, there I'm actually good. Oh, and yeah, that time I fucked up. Like, bad. Like, how the fuck did I do that bad? Yeah. <laughs> and then, oh, what else is there? Yeah, I remember after, I remember like the first, during my first clip, I was actually fighting all those enemies there, and then after a time I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna run into the portal, I don't need to deal with this bullshit. How long before I actually get to the end though, I'm just, I don't remember. I don't want to skip ahead while I'm watching here, because I don't want to like mess with my clip. There's Toland, old buddy. Okay. I wonder if we ever will fight Toland, or if we'll free, if we'll fight him or free him. I mean, actually, it's clear that he's helping us. He, he's telling us what to do. He's telling, he's giving us advice. But at the same time, if any, did anybody read like, um, there's a, I don't remember where, what it is. There's a ghost fragment, or there's a card. A Grimoire card, I remember from, um, when was it? This is the shape There's a Grimoire of card 
that to I remember. So absolutely that nothing will ever exist it was from fucking. Like, and it was Tolan being like, wondering like how you knew how to get through King's Fall. And then I remember I was just like, ooh, bones. <laughs> yeah, I remember I was like, ooh, bones. Yeah, anyways. Um. And I remember at the end of the card, I was he was just like, Why aren't you taking the power from him? No, you should be learning how to take, God damn it! Who the fuck will be left to lead the Taken? Because, you know, he was so close with the Hive. I just find it interesting that he's still alive at all. And if he's still alive, is he a being of light in this dark? Is he a literal being of light in this darkness? Or is he just a wisp and not really a light, per se? Oh yeah, I probably do fall off at some point here. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh... I hated how some of these rocks turned. And yeah. I felt like they denied me my second jump. That was one of the reasons I fucked up. I remember. Just fuck you, Bungie! And then they remember having to go all the way back. I mean, back there. And being so annoyed. Yeah. Good times. Screams. I got it. I like how ugh. I like how the um scorn are literally a combination of the hive and the uh take it, or the and the fallen if you think about it. Cuz like just in terms of like concept, I mean the abominations are like ogres if you think about it, screams or curse thrall. And there's other ways I could probably get into I, I, if I actually took the time. Actually, one of the things I can't wait to see is an actual Scorn raid, if we ever get that. I mean, we know Fickrule is still alive, that he's just going to keep coming back. And actually, I remember I was disappointed at first, because that was one of the things I really wanted. It was a Fickrule raid. And, I mean, not a Fickrule raid, but a Scorn raid. But it ended up being taken. And I was just like, sad. <laughs> which I'm not, which, don't get me wrong, it was fun. I'm glad. And, oh yeah, I think I forgot, I remembered I noticed an egg, so I think I changed to Wish Ender, which I think that's what I'm going to start doing, is whenever I go into the Dreaming City, just immediately equipping Wish Ender. Because I don't want to um, forget eggs. And also, you the eggs, you, um, well, I was going to say, oh, shit, shit. Did I make it? Do I make it? I made it. Okay. Um, do I make it here? I remember I was scared there. I was trying to, like, make sure I <laughs> didn't fall off somehow there. And is that one rotating? I can't see. Oh, yeah, it's rotating. I think this one I don't die afterwards, thankfully. I think this one, yeah, actually, I just can move on to the end. <gasps> oh, okay, maybe not. I was, just, okay, thank fuck, I don't have to keep, I because if I can cut my narration shorter. Oh, yeah, just for plans, just to give some plans and stuff related to Black Armory. Um, so, I have... 
um, one episode done where, like, it's just, you know, everything before the first forge. Or not everything. Some steps I skipped showing because they were simple. But other steps, but, like, I think I just have to, like, do one more, like, do the forge itself for the next episode of the Black Armory stuff. So you'll see me do that at some point. I just want to, like, get some other stuff done first. Because, you know, time limitations. And here we go. There's Toland. Imagine if Toland was the final boss we fought. That would be, like, interesting, though, wouldn't it, if Toland was the final boss we fought? I remember being so angry. What's his name? The White? Or the Weft? Yeah, that first guy was the Weft. I don't know what the Weft means. The Warp? Okay, so the warp, I think, is probably, the weft probably has to do something with the warp to name the warp. Because the warp usually means, like, something screwed, like, something screwy with, sh with the shape, or whatever. I don't know exactly the name, but whatever. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Just one next episode will probably be the last ascendant challenge and the first and the um, second mission. Yeah, it'll be the second mission with the second loop and the first, whatchamacallit, and the last ascendant challenge in the means. But for now, I'm gonna go and f yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters, my duderinos. Don't do drugs. Uh, unless, you know, they're prescription and you have to for medicinal purposes. Bye.